Hello, games, views, and zombies. My name is Mr. Sapper and welcome back to another Battlefield 4, part 4 of Battlefield 4 best gun class setups or awesome gun class setups. Where I show you guys an awesome gun class setup or the best class setup for a specific type of gun. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best class setup for the AKS 74U or the AK 74U as I like to call it. Now, let's begin by talking about the gun itself. So, for all you guys that are new to Battlefield, I've been seeing a lot of new people on Battlefield, new premium players, new everyone. And, uh, not only pr new pre premium players, so this is why I'm making the video to talk about, I guess, best guns for them, because a lot of people have been looking for videos uh, on YouTube that are old and of the guns that are premium. So, and there's been a lot of updates, and guns have been, you know, nerfed and whatnot. So, I'm going to do this video for non-premium players, and premium players too, if you guys want. But there are a lot better guns out there there for premium players that are better than this, but, you know. If you guys want to try this, go ahead. So, what I recommend you guys use for this gun, or what kind of range, I guess, or what kind of map, is a close quarters map with medium medium to close quarters map, like Operation Metro, for example, when you're underground and you're running around, and there's a lot of people everywhere. I prefer to use a gun like the AKS 74U. Now, I don't use it anymore, because I've got better guns out there, but like, this is like for also low level people out there. So, the Cobra also is one of the best scopes for this gun. I honestly do not like using this, the... PKAS Hollow or the PSO 4x scope, but that's just me. And there might be scopes out there that are better for it, like definitely not this one. What I prefer not to do is just go for any, like, I don't use any long range scopes for, for these kinds of guns. The holographic scope and the reflex sight might be good for it, they might be, but I honestly prefer the Cobra sight. The foregrip is also another, uh, is the only attachment you can get for it, but I, I do prefer using it for the, using the foregrip on it since it will reduce the, re, the recoil with, with the gun, so. That's gonna it's gonna help you guys a lot if you run around with the foregrip on. That that's a must have with this gun. The heavy barrel is a, uh, you could use the suppressor or the heavy barrel, or you could use the laser sight. Now it depends on what what you want to do, what your map is, what your distance to your enemies is. So why I should use the heavy barrel is for the long range shooting because you can't take people out. With, I do not recommend you run around going long range with this gun, but it, it does take burst fire to take enemies out long range, and I, I tend to use the heavy barrel when I'm shooting at people, for example, in a uh, saying saying crossing I'm not even sure I pronounce it anymore when I'm in a window and there's people taking over C I just shoot down at them and you know or D or whatever I shoot down at them with burst fire and I can get assists or kills or suppression assist and it all counts so it's all good so the heavy barrel or with the suppressor you can, if you want to go stealth mode like around the enemy or if you want like close quarters this is only good for close uh, suppressor is only great for close range shooting so <coughs> excuse me so that's one. That's the reason why is why I like the suppressor for close range. I wouldn't run around with a heavy barrel at close range, but uh, you know, it depends on, what, on your, like I said earlier, it depends on your map, it depends where your enemies are, it depends on a variety of things. So for I guess for close range, uh, I'd prefer running around with the suppressor, especially since you won't show up on the enemy mini maps if you're attacking and the enemy is already set down. L L LMG nests, excuse me, light machine gun nests. You can run around, run around with the suppressor, and they won't see you on the map and whatnot. And the foregrip here, like I explained, the Cobra, and well, yeah, this is, I guess, what I like to, what I like to use. Oh, oh also the, the laser sight is if you, for also really good for close range, because it improves the accuracy when you're, you know, when you're not running around with, when you're, when you're not scoping while running around with tip fire. So I, oh, my tongue was in twisted there or whatever. And I, I believe he adds some accuracy to with the foregrip, for in, in my, my opinion. I've read somewhere that it does, but then I, I honestly don't see that it improves the accuracy what, what, when you have foregrip. I just prefer to use the heavy barrel, since, you know, that just works better for me with the foregrip. And the, yeah, so now let's go, I'm going to show you guys the... I'm going to show you guys everything else for the class, so... For the class, I prefer to use the M1911 uh, tactical rather than suppressor since you know I'm using the for uh, using the heavy barrel if you want you can put the with the suppressor on or tactical uh, and if you don't already if you don't have if you don't oops if you don't have the M1911 tactical because a lot of people don't have it I know that a lot of people don't have it so what I what I used to run around with anyways was the 44 Magnum with a if, I used to run around 44 Magnum on every class I recommend the 44 Magnum for anyone who doesn't have the M1911 yet so you know that's you can run around with the M4 uh, with the 44 Magnum. Sorry, it's a really good gun. Try go try it out. I mean, uh, uh, it's a great gun. It's a two shot kill. But what I'm going to use for this loadout class, what I recommend using if you or if you have it, is the M1911 because of the fact that it has a higher fire rate than the Magnum. They're both equally really good in my opinion. 
Uh, you could use M M15, AT mine, depending on what map you want. The small, I, I usually just use the small. Or you could use the. Depends on also what kind of playstyle you're going for. So if you're going for a stealthy playstyle, I recommend using the. Where is it? The 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 crossbow or the crossbow scope. I don't know what I was looking for. You could use the crossbow, or the crossbow scope, simply because of the reason that because of the fact that you have some attachments. I guess you could say, like the 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 crossbow boulder reveals enemies nearby. So that's one of the things you could go for. Also depends on the kind of situation that you you're that's happening in your map, uh, or in your area where you are. So the M15 that mine here because uh, on the previous match I was playing on. I was playing on Carl Island and I decided to put landmines because I was defending and whatnot. You could use a repair tool too. Or 15 or landmines or this body if you if you are going for rush I recommend you either do other landmines or this robot if you're attacking this robot usually I I use this robot a lot I run around with it and I arm uh, bombs with that as you guys can, uh, could have seen in one of, one of my videos that I made on the Age of Gaming Network where I was riding this COD by rail and then I planted the bomb and I you know. Uh, so yeah, use either this or this. I'm just gonna go with this. And with the crossbow, you could use the crossbow. It has explosive rounds. It's got a very long distance, which is one reason why you could use the scope with it. But I'm gonna go with the small here, or the javelin, depending on what map I end up playing on. And so yeah, this is the kind of class setup. Oh, and uh, squad explosives also depending on what kind of map you're on. So if you're on a uh, playing game mode with no vehicles, I recommend you actually going for frags or ammunition. So they have more ammo or so that you have more grenades. Now I usually prefer grenades over ammo, but it also depends on your, what your squad, ma squad mates have to know. If you guys just want, you know, a, a good class to use, just a good class, you don't, really care, you don't really care about how your team is going on, you know, on the map and that kind of thing. I just prefer, I recommend just going two, two frags, 15, uh, 15 landmine, or the, this spot here, also depending on what kind of game mode you're playing. I, yeah, I ran around a repair tool once in Team Deathmatch, because, you know, these two had pretty much no effect there. So, uh, this small here, this is also really good in, like, search and, not search and destroy, <laughs> what am I talking about? In Rush, and Conquest, and all that, because you can take out numbers of enemies, you can take out vehicles. So I, I prefer the rocket launcher, the RPG, or the small here. And the M9, M1911 tactical it doesn't matter if you use the suppressor, the tactical, or the M1911. You could use the suppressor if you go on selfie, or if you just want one stealth weapon. So you can, when you come out from behind enemies, you can, you know, I I, do, I recommend you could do that, or you could just use this to, fly, you know, that also this also does give away your position. So maybe you might be better off with this. But I, I'm I'm gonna go with this, with this, one of the two. So and back in this is the AKS 74U here. So make sure you guys have these. Try it out. Try this class out, guys. I recommend I recommend you guys. Oopsie Daisy. I recommend you guys use this class here. Now, oh, what have I done? Now <laughs> let's get into the game. Let me just change these back to the way they were before. Let's get into the game. So games, views, and senses. We are we have found a match here, and pre pretty much uh, the my mic was muted during the live recording of this match. Here, so I'm just gonna talk about to you guys how this gun is like really good in a uh, in this kind of map scenario here that I'm doing. So this, I decided to make it as an example here in uh, here. In this gameplay here, how it's a really good gun to use, I guess you could say. So right here, I ended up getting like two kills there, and I took decided to take cover there, but I got shot. So this gun is, like I said, it's a, since it, it, the AK setting for you being a submachine gun, it's really pretty much by itself. It's really good at close quarters to medium range. It's perfect at close quarters. I wouldn't say perfect; it's like godlike or OP, but really good, like somewhat perfect. In close quarters, since you can run around with it, and it's not one of those lo really long-range kind of weapons that build up its power at long range. It has power immediately re when it when the bullet flies out of the barrel. And around here, I got a few kills. I get like one guy's hiding there, so I end up firing that. And around here, somewhere, a few seconds maybe after this. And the reason it's really good in this scenario is because a, I have like the kind of backup for my team. So this guy's suppressing the arrow. I can just fire my rocket, throw a grenade, and get a kill. Throw another grenade in while he runs close, or reload, he's watching, you know, that kind of thing. So, it's an, also really good, like, it's really good class when you're around your team. I, I wouldn't, I didn't like soloing in this game, you can't really solo very well in this game anyways. I uh, probably shouldn't have done that run towards the enemy. And another, it's really good since you can, right here in this area where my team controls, for example, the north, and the enemy controls the south of the, sort of that kind of train, air station, era sort of thing. My team can sort of, like, I can just sort of shoot down that alleyway as you guys saw earlier where I could, you know, that's one of the reasons this gun is it's really good. It doesn't have the kind of rate of fire that, like the MP7, but it, uh, excuse me, but it has a kind of, it has a really good uh, rate of fire. As you guys saw there, it took me a while to get down to like, I don't even know, it took really low ammo. 
and I, it gave me enough time to kill this guy, and I'm protecting the MCOM there, so... And we can just hide here and, you know, take that guy out there. Oh, yep, yeah, we, yeah, we got him. And that's again, that's what, that's another thing. This gun is really good. It's why well, it's really good. If, if, as you guys can see, the range of if the gun's range isn't that bad. I can just shoot all the way down and mow down anyone that comes through there anyway. So that's a the really good thing about the gun. It's got a nice, it's got a nice range. It's got two fire modes, triple triple burst, and one, one you know single shot round, semi-auto, and so that allows for long range distance shooting too. But you know I prefer to just stick with full auto. It's not triple shot, sorry. If, Full auto, full, full auto. So, so my tongue got twisted there. And he comes and with the rocket launch, you can also just shoot down there and kill someone. You know, kill somebody. These guys are just hiding here. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. So uh, I'm just showing this video now since it's uh, I've pretty much just explained to you guys how it's good in this kind of close to medium quarters concept. It's a really good gun for this kind of this kind of range. So this is a, an example of the kind of range it's got. All this class excels at. If you want a long range class. Class setup sort of thing. I recommend you guys check out my pre my one of my previous videos with the ACW, which is a also an engineer class setup. So if you guys want a really good engineer class setup for medium to long range, right? Then you know check out my ACW gun class setup. There'll be a link on the screen right now to to the the my ACW gun class video if you guys haven't already seen it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to smack the like button below like it's a girlfriend's bubble butt or her boat, you know. I'm sorry if you guys don't have a girlfriend bubble I'm just going to say if you have a girlfriend or like, if you have a right hand cause, or a left hand. So, see that this gun also has a really nice amount of recoil with the foregrip and the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, with the foregrip and the scope there. It's, it's Like I said, it's a really nice gun. I can take that guy out too really easily. So it's not underpowered. It's uh, I wouldn't say it's like godly or anything like that. So that's you know it's a really good gun. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Remember to stay tuned for more. And I'm, you know, bye bye. See ya. And enjoy the last few seconds of the video. <laughs>